Gather around all you faithful servants of the true heirs to the Empire, the Lady Isabella von Karstein and her fierce husband, Vlad von Karstein, great progenitor to the Sylvanian vampires. Our great masters have awakened to the transgressions done to them in Sylvania and beyond, and have decided to take back what is theirs. The fool Manfred holds Castle Drakenhof, our home, but not for long, as our Lady Isabel shall make all but certain. But before Manfred's time comes, Isabella, with the aid of her Ladies in waiting has set her sights upon the necromancers and vampires of Tempelhof. The von Karsteins need to rally the province of Western Sylvania. But the road ahead brings many obstacles other than the disloyal vampire progeny of Vlad. The moot and empire settlement in the province of Stirland lies directly in Isabella's way. Her armies, filled with undead monstrosities, vargeists, black knights and reanimated corpses, strike with surgical precision at the settlement. Unprepared and without warning, the few remaining border patrols are slaughtered and quickly reanimated. Their fealty now owed to a new master, or rather a mistress. The citizenry is untouched for the most part. After all, Isabella has always recognized the need for cattle. But the moot is only one stepping stone. Fort Oberstar is the more relevant piece the lady desires. Isabella's actions speak louder than declarations of war. Another strike with the spear tip of her army, and the fort falls. Western Sylvania comes one step closer to reunification. Isabella prepares for the oncoming attack on Templehof Castle. As the lady does so, she cooks up something especially unpleasant in the form of the deadly spell called the Gaze of Nagash. Meanwhile, in Schwarzhaven, Vlad awakens his consuming thirst with him. He constructs an army of great power, two undead regiments of renown at the army's forefront. Soon a messenger of Manfred's appears, offering powerful magics in return for a non-aggression pact. Vlad of course refuses the offer. Under Vlad's watchful gaze, a gibbet is constructed, also known as hanging cages, a silent promise to all the living in Sylvania who would dare stand against their lords. Isabel, meanwhile, moves from Fort Oberstar intent on preparing the assault on Western Sylvania's capital. Vlad alone is missing now, but not for long. The Lord ventures on Manfred's territory, caring not whether the whelp is slighted. His thought is on helping his lady wife alone. The assault on Castle Templehof proves victorious but costly. There is glory in doing battle, as Vlad attacks the castle's western gate, dispatching several regiments of the enemy. Isabella hesitates in her tactical decision-making, and that costs one of her ladies-in-waiting in particular, who is knocked out during the fray. Isabella's own soldiers stake to the city walls, their necrotic flesh proving most resistant to the arrows come from the guard towers. Diavats and Vargas decimate the enemy's ranks from above, 
making the task for Isabella and her beasts that much easier, even as the vampire lords of Templehof tries to stop them. Meanwhile, Vlad's army is still held at bay by the enemy's regiments, but soon enough it will no longer matter. The skeleton soldiers and armoured creatures have nothing if not brittle bones against Vlad's blade. The vampire lord falls, unable to stand against the Vargast's razor-sharp claws and Isabella's bolts of dark magic, which leap from her eyes, withering flesh, blackening the bone beneath it. He is a fierce warrior, but attacks from all sides, even one as skillful as he is in the art of raising the dead cannot hope to survive, not for long. The vampire laws undead crumble with him, as Western Sylvania falls, under the Von Karstein's rule once again. Thus is concluded our first chapter, the chapter of the subjugation of Western Sylvania. Thank you for taking the time to watch this! I've been meaning to do something more narrative for a while now, and since I love Total War Warhammer, and Warhammer in its entirety, I thought this might be the best thing to start off with. If you'd like to check any of my other videos, Let's Plays and so on and so forth, please go do that. Also click that subscribe button, like if you would like to help me grow bigger, and as always, I hope to see you again next time. Bye!